Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today we're going to be showing you how easy it is to remove and replace the shift knob on your BMW. This would be for both manual transmissions and automatic transmissions. Here's just an example of some of the knobs that we have to offer. So here we have the early style automatic knob, we have the later pistol grip knob, we have an assortment of manual shifter knobs from Bavarian Autosport, UUC, and BMW, as well as the UUC parking brake handles. This is a small example of what we carry for BMWs and Minis. Check out our online store for a complete selection that fits your year and model. Okay, now before we get down to the actual installation portion of the video, don't forget to hit your like button if you like what we're doing here. Send us some comments. Also visit our tech blog at blog.bavauto.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And remember, everything you see here is in our online store at bavauto.com. Now let's get going. All right, here we are inside the vehicle on a manual transmission. This is a later model BMW with our shift knob and our emergency brake handle here. We'll be showing you how to replace both. On the emergency brake handle, we'll be using this UUC stainless steel and leather handle. For the moment, I'm going to set that aside. And we'll show you on the shifter how to re replace the original equipment style knob with another knob that installs in the same way as the original equipment, which on this being a 1982 and later is a snap-on style. We'll also show you the universal style with a set screw that we'll install on both the early model screw-ons and the late model snap-ons. This is the UUC stainless steel knob with the shift pattern. The camera may not pick that up due to uh, glare, but this is a nice heavy knob. It feels really good on the shifter, especially when you have a uh, UUC short shift kit. So we'll set that aside as well. And the other one now, in removing this knob, again, it snaps off. And basically we just pull and pull it off. They can often be fairly tight the first time you take them off. We recommend pulling it back into second or fourth gear. Grasp it with both hands and pull. Now I'm going to do this from a good angle. It's fairly tight. So I'm going to get up over the top and pull with both hands. A good jerk is usually what it takes. I'm going to grab it here, try a couple of different ways. There we go. And you can see that took a moderate amount of force, but once I got the right handle on it to pull it off, it came right off. Just be careful. You don't smack yourself in the face with it. Just put your face aside and uh, cause it can come off with a fair amount of force. We have had people actually do that. Now the details on the shifter here to secure it in place. Notice there's a cut ring here, which engages with the snap tabs here. So this goes all the way down into this groove. And those are your snaps that we just removed. The slot here aligns the knob and down in the bottom is a male tab, which engages into that slot. When we put this together, we'll put it down so that the slot is engaged and then we'll snap it down on the snaps. Here we have the replacement knob. This is a uh, BMW original equipment upgrade knob with the stainless steel base. It's shorter, so it lowers our shifter height. And it has our five speed pattern with the motorsport emblem. So we'll slide that right down on top of the shaft. And as I'm sliding it down, notice I can turn it until I get that male tab in the slot. Now it won't turn, but it's not all the way on yet. We'll smack it basically to get the snap to come home. There we go. Now it's fully on. It's meeting with the boot. 
and all set very nice that feels really nice that shorter knob looks good in the interior too with the black leather all right now we're going to show you the alternate from the original snap-on style that we just showed you we're going to show you the installation of a universal set screw style again this one is a UUC heavyweight stainless steel this type of knob is also available from Bavarian Autosport in our own designs uh, Momo Hamann AC Schnitzer etc if it's a set screw style has one or more set screws it'll be designed to be universal on this shaft whether it's a snap-on or a screw on now on this universal set screw style knob notice the allen head set screw we do not have any snaps or locator tabs just a nylon bushing to mount onto the shaft when we slide this on we'll simply use our allen key to tighten the allen screw once we have the knob in place we'll just tighten the screw like that so let's just slide the knob on get it aligned and we'll fasten it in and when tightening the set screw once it comes home we'll want to give it a fair amount of torque but certainly not enough to strip the allen head there we go now that is actually complete that's about as easy as could be and feels very nice again when installed with a short shift kit it uh, the extra weight makes the shifter feel very very nice all right now we're going to replace the emergency brake handle now this one is leather we're going to replace it with this UUC leather and stainless there's also a matching knob to go with this. We didn't have one currently to show you, but the middle is leather just like this uh, handle. They go very well together. There's also an all stainless handle to match this knob. Now, this knob happens to be loose and it does just pull off. Not all knobs are loose like that. Many of the later model BMWs, the uh, knob or handle is actually glued to the inner handle and it isn't going to just pull off like this in those cases you will likely damage the handle pulling it off so just be sure in the end this is what you want to be doing so we can grab the handle with channel lock pliers twist and pull and that will often get it off or we may need to and we have had to do this in the past in replacing these on late model BMWs if it would not twist off at all slice through the knob with a razor knife multiple passes it's plastic on the inside but to slice through and then basically peel the knob off of the inner handle once we have this off if you had glue and residue just clean it off take our new handle and again this is a set screw style just like the shifter and it very easily slips on and meets with the boot so in order to do this one we'd want the, sh the uh, set screw where we can't see it so we'll t start the set screw in where it's easy to get to Okay, loosen it just a little bit, turn the handle to where the set screw is down, the leather seams are lined up, we'll tighten the set screw down here, this will be just a little bit more tedious just to get into the set screw because it's, it's a uh, more enclosed area, let's see, there we go, now it's in, I'm going to turn it down into position. Tighten the screw. There we go. Push it all the way down so our button is accessible. If it's too high, like this, we can't push the button in. So we need to push it down against the boot. And 
just tighten that set screw. There we go. And this works great. Very good. Now we have a nice matching shifter and e-brake handle. Very nice upgrade can substantially change the way your interior looks. With that, check out our website at bavauto.com and you can see all of the shift knobs and e-brake handles we handle for your model. Next, we'll show you how to replace the shifter handle on an automatic transmission. Let's go there now. Okay, now here we are in a automatic transmission 2002 325XI. We'll show you how to remove this shift handle and install a different one. This one does snap on, very similar to the way the manual transmission snap-on knob works. We'll pull the shifter back. We'll have to turn the ignition on, put our foot on the brake so we can move it back. And this pulls right off. Our new knob, very similar to the uh, five-speed, has a snap in the bottom. This is our detent rod. When we pull the trigger, it pulls the rod up, pulls the rod out of the detents so we can move the uh, shifter around when we pull the trigger. See right here, we're only going between neutral and drive. Pull the trigger, we can go into reverse and even into park. Now I need to put the ignition back on to pull it out, pull it back. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's pull the knob off. As with the five speed, just be careful, don't hit yourself in the face. Give it a good sharp tug. And there we go. There's our detent. If this is broken, we won't be able to move between the detents or there will be no detents and it'll move freely depending on how it's broken. We'll take our new knob, slide the detent rod down over the shaft and as with the manual transmission, snap it on, it's done. There we go. And that's very easy to do. Now, earlier automatic transmissions that use a T-handle like this, the original will likely be vinyl. These are installed with a set screw. You'll notice there's no detent rod. We do have a trigger though. The detent rod is a separate piece, looks very similar to this one, but it's separate and attaches to the pin on this trigger down inside. So you slide the detent rod in, hook it on the trigger, slide the shifter down over the shaft, and insta install the uh, set screw with your Allen key. And that screw goes right through the shifter into the shift rod to secure the shifter. So this would be, this is how all of the earlier automatics before the pistol grips work. The uh, ones before 84 for the three speed transmissions look slightly different, but they install the same way. To remove them, pull the shifter back, release the set screw, pull the shifter up. The detent rod should come with it. If it doesn't, just grab the rod and pull it out and then you can replace the shifter. Okay, now that you've seen how easy it is to replace your shift knob or the emergency brake handle, you can go out there and modify your BMW to personalize your shifter and your e-brake handle or take care of one that's worn out and simply just needs replacement functionally. We've got lots of options. Visit our website at bavauto.com and you can see all of the shifters that are available for your specific model BMW. With that, don't forget to hit your like button if you've liked this video and send us some comments. Let us know how we're doing on these or if you have any questions. We're done here. Let's go on to our next video. Be sure to visit us at blog.bavauto.com for more DIY info.